everyone, I'm Gaming Animal, and welcome back to a new Suit Tycoon 2 video. I know it has been a little while since I uploaded a new Suit Tycoon video, and I am still working on a widescreen hack. Um, it's not working at this moment. Um, everything is like uh, going really weird and crazy. I don't know, but um, fortunately, oh god, um, European Zoo and all my other zoo, I will all my other zoos I was busy on um, got deleted. Um, I installed Paranoia for my um, museum contest entry and apparently all my save files are gone. So I, may, I decided to actually give a um, few new mods um, a chance in our little tiny city zoo. Um, I'm going with a bit of an African theme because I have uh, tons of African animals and I love Africa. Um, I think Africa might be one of my favorite countries with animals, animal wise, because rhinos, elephants, zebras, antelopes. I am basically a big herb herbivorous fan and Africa is just the best. So yeah, this is like a really, oh god, I forgot something. So this is a really basic entrance, not that special at all. Um, right here we're going to build a restaurant later on. But for now, I actually want to build a little house thing for like big African giants. And it's basically based off a zoo in the Netherlands. Um, they got like Afri uh, like elephants, uh, rhinos and hippos in there. And like gorillas. Um, it's it's a really cool zoo. It's, it's wonderful. It's maybe one of the best zoos we have in our country. Not that there are many, not at all. Well, yeah, there are like a lot of cool animals there. We actually got a black rhino, so that's really cool. So we're making like a black rhino exhibit in there. A, a elephant, the African elephant, and I still need to get a, ra a radical remake, but every time I down try to download it, it will take hours. So that's the reason why I am still not having Radical Remake. So yeah, um, just going to make like a path like this, because I do want to make like a little exhibit right there. I'm going for this right here. Make it a bit wider. Right there. Um, yeah, but basically what it is, it's like, oh god, like a big indoor um, area, and like a um, smaller outside area. <clears throat> so, like right here, I want to start off with rhinos, because I like rhinos. I love rhinos. And I had a little idea in mind. Um, first, we, of course, I want to um, give the walls like their place. So, like this, and then this part will be for rhinos, and the next to it, like hippopotamus or elephants, one of the two. I think four is the best height. Oh god, I completely forgot about that. Um, I really need to get that mod where you can actually replace the zoo wall because this is getting a little bit annoying. Because otherwise, I need to give like, otherwise, I need to um, save room like this to actually be able to build something close to the zoo wall. And it is kind of annoying. So, like this. And I got a new mod, a new fence. And it looks really nice. It's a really nice fence. And it is a rhino fence, specific for rhinos. For indoor. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, I'm downloading it. It's this fence. Looks really cool. I love it. And I've never used it before, so yeah. Let's see if it has a zoo entrance. Unfortunately not, unfortunately not, but that's not that bad because we can make it like this. 
we will make like a little hallway um, there are no gas going to be around the zoo just to reduce a little bit of lag because that was also a little bit of a problem in European Zoo so many guests and yeah, this looks really nice I like it um, this is the desk so it will be, that's Kirby so let's just put like one rhino already in now work on the outside yeah you need more space you're going to get more space don't worry and what I actually had in mind was like does this work well it looks nice I don't know if it will work for rhinos but I um, personally don't think that oh Oh, that sound. Uh, we're going for a little rope fence. I don't know if this will uh, hold a rhino, personally, but... Still need more room? No, that's... I thought already. She didn't need more. Alright, so now, basically, the exhibit. Yeah, it's just going to be one rhino, because... Normally in zoos you don't see like too much rhinos, especially black rhinos. I mean, black rhino is pretty rare in the zoo. At least there's only one zoo in, I believe. I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, but in Hill and completely Europe. And as I said, I don't know if that's completely true. Maybe in Germany there are like so many zoos and so many great zoos in Germany. Probably one German zoo has maybe like a black rhino. I don't know. I'm not from Germany. I make like a little creek. Like so. Just like you can see in the trailer of Zoo Tycoon. Now we're going to do this. And this is something I wanted to try. Just try. Um oh god. Place a new one. So it will actually fit. So like that. I, I love messing around with these rocks. And these rocks actually change from size. That's great. I love them. They have a specific wall. I'm correct. Why is the wall? Yeah, right here. Nah, that won't help. No, it, it is cool to have, like... it's It will look fake it is really fake but it does has something it has something can you actually walk underneath yeah you should be able to um, let's get some hay like right there maybe we should make your let's get some dirt Give you a scratching post. Salt lake outside. Maybe a barrel. Now food. So these exhibits won't be that big. This is a pretty big exhibit actually. Look. But it is a really special creature so I think it deserves one. Maybe we should move this a little bit. There. Right there. And I have no idea if they actually eat those, those hay bales. I never tried it, so... I'm not risking it. Just going for this. Really simple. And then some branches outside. And the food dish. Some yellow trees. Regular acacia. Now some grass. Some color mixing. Maybe some thistles in the front. Uh, 
I think this is looking really nice. Yeah. Now uh, let's just give this this boy a zookeeper. You are a boy or are you a girl? I think you're a girl. Yeah, you are. Big girl, Berta. Or something else. Oh, I can't wait till Radical Remake. They will look even beautiful. Even more beautiful. I can't wait. Maybe I need to put something a bit more like grass inside. I don't know. Oh, I'm wondering if I can put another one of you guys in. I think we should just try. Nope. I knew that was going to happen. So that's basically like the first exhibit. Um. Benches. Bit more in the back. Same for the donation box. And the trash cans. Um, let's see what we signs we have. Um, there was somewhere a. Well, let at least put a not T uh, sign because otherwise he might get she might get to snap through the rope fence, and that's something we don't want. And they're thick and strong and we don't want one of those on a rampage oh god I shouldn't go too close to my microphone oh uh, yeah I will keep it like that oh god Um, give you, do you have a job? Yeah. So now on for the other exhibit. Which I still need to think about. Is it going to be for elephant or a hippopotamus? I think elephant will be a lot cooler. Or we're going for a Indian rhinoceros. Which might be even more cooler. Just because two rhinoceros species next to each other. I think that's going to be our job, and since it's a city zoo, it needs to be attractive for other people. So, to endangered species of rhinos, yeah, I will go there. I, I would. So I think we are going to do that. Um, um let's just get one of those in. Oh, those are perfect for giraffes. Um, yeah, and the near they make sense a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. I do know that I I actually want to give those rhinos little swimming pool. Does that make sense? Because they're Indian, Indian. Those like to swim, basically. Uh, we are going for the same style fence. They might get a little bit bigger of an exhibit. A lot bigger. That's just because Indian rhinoceros are my favorite uh, land mammals. So yeah. Reason why. Uh, maybe a bit more up here and not there. Um, you're just walking in circles. No, not anymore. Great. Now, go further on the rock fence. Alright. 
that's the gate into that area. Oh, where's the wall? I forgot where the walls are. Ah, right here. I don't know. I feel like making like another wall like right there. But also not. I want like a little rock area. Like a big rock in the in the center. I think that would look pretty nice. Just make a bigger rock. Like right here like a uh, uh, pool. Make it a little bit deeper. Not too deep. Uh, well, let's see if it can actually swim now. Oh, it's not actually deep, so... Put a male of you. Uh, a male of you. Maybe they can crossbreed. Oh god, no. Maybe those rocks are also a little bit in the way. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is a nice pond. Oh god. Ah, uh, you can go through rocks. So that means it's fine. Can you swim in here? Yeah, you can. Alright. If you can't reach it, try harder to reach it. Stupid zookeepers. Where's the rhinoceros poop? It's just in the field. Or can zookeepers just not... You cannot go into here. What? Uh, I hate zookeepers. They are so stupid in this game. The AI is not good. Not good. If there's a mod on a better AI, I'll, I'll install it immediately. But I doubt there is. I mean, it is still is a pretty old game. So, yeah, I'm not too mad. Um, let's see, we need to copy. Oh god. The bad. Ah, we'll give you a parasol. Or shade structure. Put it like there in the back. And now the fun part placing grass. I'm not sure about the trees. Looks a bit silly to me. And also kinda looks like a dick. A really weird one though. I'm fine with it. Just the trees need to move a bit. I don't really like the other plant I have in the savannah. Not really good plans. What do you like to eat? Just water and hay. The you will get some grass on the outside and the feeding dish. The inside is just so... Oh. Yeah, the inside doesn't look that great. I don't know what to do about the inside. Pretty much. Hey, put grass inside. I don't think it'll look better, but... 
No, never mind. It's just the, the inside, you know? Maybe I should not place food like outside. Because then there is like no reason for the rhinos to go out, to go inside. Except to scratch themselves, themselves, themselves. Um, now let's just make it a lot, look a lot better. Um, I don't know if I want to go for that um, little bit away look. Like this. Like you're not immediately onto the fence. Or like this, you're like, like an hug the creature. I don't think for rhinos it would be great to like hug them. So yeah, but it, uh, it would not really match. I think I'm going for that not hugging. And this path can be there. It can also be there. So I can just bugger off. Then we can actually place like grass and stuff down here. Oh, I forgot lilies. We want to look, uh, it to look a little bit better in the world. Or at least I do. So wetlands. Not those big, but not those big ones. Yeah, those are nice. That's some normal water lilies. We also need some water lilies in here. Just a few. Well, I think we need to do something special with this right now. So I think we might want to build a little big, like a big nice rock right here. Yes. I'm not really liking this rock, this, this little rock formation. Um, oh god. Just go inside. Go inside. Maybe some of those flat rocks. Are really nice. Could do like a little viewing area. Like you can still hug the rhinos, but from behind the rocks. Great solution. Man, we can do so much with these arches. We can make like, yeah. Let's try it out. This will look pretty si pretty silly, I think. Yeah, we can actually make like fences. I like it. <laughs> yeah, we can li literally make fences with it, uh, with them. This looks really nice. We need to use that for the next exhibit, probably. No, I'm really not sure about this rocks. How about all these rocks? I think I keep it in. Might delete it if whenever I start like not liking it. What I can do with it 
is place some benches right here. So like a little sitting area, which is pretty nice. You can actually sit and your back like a rhino can sneeze in your hair. Great. Now let's just put a, ro a roof on this whole thing. Once I've placed down some more benches. Um, there. So now we're going for a roof. After we've done the walls. Yeah, so far I'm really liking this. I think it does need a really nice name. I can make like... So I can make like a good arch, but... I have like no idea what to call this zoo. Or actually this thing. So if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments. And I know I'm sounding at this moment really bored. But I'm just a little bit stressed. Nothing more. Now a lot of tests. Stuff like that. Got to learn every day. And not just like 10 minutes. Just a couple hours. And then I have time for my Zutikun. I'm actually thinking about making this like same. No, not what that was wrong. Um, I'm putting like rock walls. I don't know if it will look cool. I think it might be. I think it might be. Uh, might look really nice. Uh, I just wish there was like a four. It would be a lot better. Just place one there. We're probably going to make like a bigger, like a nice exhibit out there. This is basically our rhino complex. for now unless I'm going to build more rhino exhibits which I'm likely not going to do because I don't think there's like any space for more rhinos in the zoo I mean two species like the same uh, animal a lot of people would say that's not really what I want I want to get like multiple species in, multiple really cool species. Let's just look how it is at this moment. Yeah, I need to think something for that. Ah, oh, it looks really nice. At this moment. I'm gonna make a photo of you your butt. Could you please turn around? Mr. Buggy. Oh, never mind then. Oh, I'm going oh god. Oh. Where is the book? Um, this episode is getting a bit longer. I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's just, I just want to play. I haven't played Sudekun 2 in a few days. Too busy with Pokemon Uranium. And I don't know how a game can actually be a lot more interesting for me than Sudekun 2. I mean, Sudekun 2 is my life. <laughs> Pretty much.
Yeah. Um. Put one down there. Make two trash cans. Make it like curve around. Just like this. And that will be for next episode. What we are going to do right here for the um, African area or like just zoo area. We're not going to theme it really well. Um, yeah, we already did like almost one fourth, like a quarter of the zoo. And it's just two rhino exhibits. So let's just get a look from above. So this is what we have. It, it is really tiny. Oh man, it is really tiny. But tiny, but hopefully not that laggy. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye!